What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some competitive 4v4 SMD. I know it kind of jumped in the middle here. This is when the recording actually started. Um, I do cut out a few rounds after this just because it was a long gameplay, but I wanted to bring it to you guys for a couple reasons. Number one, I got several really clutch plays, and this wasn't on my host. Number two, I don't like these guys at all that were playing. Um, basically, they were d doing some disrespect before before the match, so I did a little bit in game um, at the end of one of the rounds. And also, uh, they wound up booting one of our teammates in the middle of the second map. We lost second map, and then third map we actually won three v four the entire time, and we started down being down one and f one to four. And so I will be bringing that gameplay as well. And of course, they wound up disputing. So I thought I should go ahead and post it up on YouTube. Uh, the 3v4 gameplay will probably be up sometime next week, so look forward to that. Uh, also, real quick, before I get into the topic, I wanted to thank you guys so much for the response on my last video. Um, just all the support you guys give me is absolutely amazing, and I just want to be clear that I will be continuing to make videos as long as I can. Um, it's just, you know, college and work is going to take priority over it. Uh, most likely, it's just going to be my practice time that's really reduced. I'll try to continue to make as many videos as I normally do. But um, getting into the topic, so basically I told you guys I was going to do some Advanced Warfare videos and today is going to be about the game modes for competitive and I know, you know, there have been a lot of videos now out on Advanced Warfare and everything and basically what I want to focus on is what the pros are talking about as far as the game modes go, what the CODcasters are talking about and what, you know, what seems viable so far. So, first of all, there have been rumors and some people are asking for five competitive game modes now. Now personally, I don't think this is going to happen. I think that's too many game modes. I think the only way that's going to happen is if there aren't enough good maps. And even then, you know, I just I just don't see it happening. There are some really good game modes though. So, get it let me let me go ahead and list the ones that are people are mainly looking at right now. There's Hardpoint, S&D, CTF, Uplink and Momentum. And I'm going to go through each one and talk about several points for each. So the first one is Hardpoint, and this is the game mode that we all wanted. We wanted to see it in Ghost. It wasn't there. Um, it's, you know, the one that started out in Black Ops 2. It was absolutely amazing, and people were, like, just absolutely going crazy when they found out that it was coming back in Advanced Warfare. But there are a few things that we need to be a little concerned about for Hardpoint. So first of all been listening to the pros talk about it and a couple of them have noticed some of the hills are really really big and they seem like they may not be viable to control now given there have only been four maps released so far so we don't know how it would play on other maps maybe just none of those four will be competitive we don't know but if the hills aren't in good locations or they're too big that could kind of mess it up and that's something that can be patched so I'm not too concerned about it, but it is a concern. Next thing is that the, a lot of pro, some of the pros were talking about how the spawns are a little weird. They couldn't quite figure out how the spawns were working, and given a lot of the matches played were by public match players, so they don't know how to manipulate the spawns quite as well. So it is possible that you know, just given the right people, you can control the spawns better. But if the spawns don't work properly or if they work differently than they did in Black Ops 2 for Hardpoint, it could be very, very difficult to control the spawns. The anchor, anchor position might change. It might uh, not even exist depending on how the spawning system works because there's several ways it can work. So that's something to look out for as the game gets closer to release and more gameplays get put out. We need to be looking at how the spawns kind of works. Next one is S and D. And this is pretty much a given that it's going to be in competitive, although there are a couple things that I wanted to go ahead and note about it. So first of all, as far as I'm aware, there is no Dead Silence perk in this game. And that's something that I'm actually not too happy about, but I will be willing to give it a chance. Um, I don't like being heard, I don't like being sound whored, I prefer to be able to sound whore other people. So. Without Dead Silence, S and D might play a little weird. It's I, it's hard to tell because I'm thinking either S and D is going to be really slow paced with a lot of crouch walking and camping, or it'll be really fast paced because of the exosuits. And so, 
I don't know. I think there's going to be some amazing S and D plays though, with some of the dashes off to the side and some of the body slams and all that fun stuff. So I think S and D is going to be okay though. I think we're going to be fine with that. Most people are saying that S and D has to be in the competitive rotation, and I, for one, agree with them. Next up is CTF. This is probably my favorite respawn game mode. Um, not necessarily my best. I think Hardpoint is actually my best probably, but. CTF is that good old classic game mode that everybody loves, and I, I think it's going to be great for this game. It may even be, as some of the pros were saying, it may even be the main respawn, so it might come up first in the rotation so you get to play two of them, um, just because it seemed to be working really well so far pre-launch. And I think CTF is going to be even more fast-paced than it was in previous titles, just because of the exo suits and everything, so I think that's going to be a really good game mode. And then the next two game modes are ones that we don't really know enough about yet to determine, but some people are questioning if they should be in competitive or not. So the first up is Uplink, and basically this game mode is the one where you have the little ball that you pass to teammates or pass to the enemy to stun them, and you, know, you try and score it into the goal by either throwing it for one point or dashing through it for two points. And this looks like a game mode that could be really interesting. It requires a lot of teamwork. I can just see some of the plays happening. That would be an amazing competitive mode. However, and, and, and a lot of people said it's just really, really fun to watch. But one thing to consider is that there have been similar game modes in previous competitive games. Not necessarily Call of Duty, but games like Halo. And they didn't, those game modes didn't work out for competitive very well. So that's something to pay attention to. Some of the Halo players have been talking about it and kind of saying, hey, you know, this game mode is pretty similar to some of these other ones and they didn't work out. So that's something to look for, although I feel like a lot of pros are still going to test that game mode out to see if they want it in or not. And then the next one is Momentum, and this is basically War, and it's where you have the five capture points across the map and... I think of it kind of similar to Domination, but it's not really even close to Domination. It's just, the the thing with this is it's going to be on big maps, and I feel like the gameplay is going to be fairly slow. It's going to feel kind of like Domination when you're watching it. So I, for me personally, I think it's going to be pretty boring. I don't think it's really that viable for competitive. I would love to play it every now and then, but I don't think it's going to be a viable competitive option. But we will have to see after launch. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much everything on the game modes. Um, now, to talk about what I think is going to be in it and what kind of series we're going to see, I'm thinking that we're going to be sticking to the three game modes, the typical three game modes, and I think it's going to be Hardpoint, S&D, and CTF. However, I'm wondering if CTF is going to come first in the rotation this time around so that you play CTF twice and Hardpoint only once. Um, it really is going to depend on the maps and the spawns and how big the hills are on hardpoint and just where they're located. So we'll have to pay attention to what the pros are thinking and how um, some of the amateurs are thinking as well once the game gets launched. Um, and yeah, I think that's how it's going to work. Hopefully, you know, we'll get some good maps and everything and everything will be fine and dandy. But yeah, those are the three I think are going to be in it. Um, so... I will be bringing you guys more Advanced Warfare videos on some other topics and I'll try and go in depth and everything and talk about it all from a competitive aspect because that's what this channel is all about. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.